So today I bought a bale of hay. This little square one. They can range between two dollars and fifty cents to ten bucks, depending on what time of year you get them. But the investment that you'll make with this will save you a ton of money on water and watering. Actually, going out there. So what you want to do is just take the hill bay, hell, uh, bell hay. Most of them split up in little, you know, little sections you can grab. You just grab you one of them and then you walk out there to the garden. And so all you basically want to do is tear you some off of it. Yeah, it's going to go flying in the wind if it's windy. And just lay it around your plants. This way, the water, to keep the water from, the sun from sucking up all the water. You want to kind of break it up if you can put it about you know about it'll be about four inches now but when you water it it'll go down over time help you save uh, water and help this thing right here grow keep weeds down and everything these are coming back out finally but uh, yeah it's that easy you know ten bucks you save that water bill get you a bell of hay so I know it's bright out here but there's plants in there <laughs> Got that hay down. I'm gonna put some more peppers in here. This will be an open pollination patch. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna lay some down right here on these tomatoes and these peas over here, and underneath these cucumbers when the rest of them finish coming out, we're gonna grow them on this this year. And I'm doing this little experiment over here with this uh, piece of little property right here. We cleared out. That'll be on another video. Flowers, way too many. This is the kind that kind of goes wild here, and they get real tall. So it's pretty cool. Fig tree got new growth on it. A bunch of the avocados made it through the winter here in Texas. The baby ones. So that's pretty cool. Got some lettuce over there planted and uh, other little stuff. So yeah, the, the hay is the way to go. Keep it watered down the first couple days and let it compact a little bit and makes good mulch. And then it break down over time. You have to replace it, but hey, that just builds your dirt up a lot. Keeps from water and helps them plants thrive more. part about this is, is all the worms that come up underneath and eat. And then you'll get free worm castings all in there all year long. Just want to wet it down until it compacts real good. Heck, after this, you want to water it forever, you know, for a while. Probably go from every three days to, you know, maybe twice every two weeks. Gets it out here in Texas, but still, this would, wouldn't be bad if I had a water. Four degrees the other day and all of them popped out Some new growth I think they're gonna grow good this year still got a bunch more to put in growing all kinds now not only that you can use it on the garden you can also use it on planting containers uh, these are some berries I got here I'm gonna put it in there uh, fruit trees. We just pile them in the buckets. That way to retain water easier. Help these plants grow more. Just water it down after you put it in there and it should settle and helps out a lot. Alright, so we're doing the avocados now. They're pretty big. Still gotta feed them. Did the figs. Threw some in there. Did the lime trees. Loaded with blooms bees are all over it. Did some more pepper plants. I ain't done the figs yet. I uh, did this plum tree. It's loaded with blooms too. And this is another, uh, this is a peach tree. Did it. Here's a, 
another peach. This is a super sweet. This is the one I got last year. And then uh, here's that dwarf bonfire patio peach. Still loaded with flowers. Bunch of new growth. Here's the strawberries. Built this little stand to get it off the ground here. Just grown in a plastic container. And then we did our berries. And our blueberries. Blueberries got flowers on it. Got the blackberries and then the, the citrus trees there. And uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. We're gonna water them now. I'll probably do these few pepper plants here we got. They're starting to come back out pretty nice. So we're gonna get some hay on them to help them with water. Helps me even keep water and helps them hold water a little bit. They got good drainage, just depends on the soil you use. But it just helps me from watering them all the time. Well, I hope this helps y'all.